In today's video, we will show you how to spoil your poultry. It helps them live longer and lay better eggs, and I think that's pretty great. Hey everyone, it's Frankie Lou. And Angus. And <laughs> Amber. And <laughs> Sinead. Yes. So we're here with a couple members of our wonderful flock. Actually, the two oldest members of our flock. Nope. Webster's older than Sinead. But, yeah. but Amber here, this is her seventh winter in Alberta. Now that's hard for some humans to deal with. If you're a little chicken living outside, that is super hard. And one of the reasons why our chickens have done as well as they have is because we spoil them. We're not gonna apologize for it. We don't treat this as a commercial operation. We love our animals. We love our ducks. These uh, animals do provide us with wonderful food. And uh, we wanna make sure that they get what they need to help them survive in the winter because it's cold yep. here and uh and they're also bored because yep. they're in this tiny little area yep. whereas in the summer they're normally in a much bigger area and they have yep. much more access to forage and actually less boredom because what did we say about a bored bird a bored chicken is a mean chicken and a bored um, duck is a mean duck that's right so one of the reasons we do spoil them isn't just for nutrition but also to keep them stimulated, okay? Because if you've got a bunch of animals stuck in a little, a little eight by six shelter there and they're bored, they will start picking on each other as well. So yep. we're gonna show you some of the, some of the little treats we give yep. these wonderful creatures who we love so much. If you're interested in spoiling your, your flock, here's some suggestions that we found have worked over the last seven years, okay? Awesome. And, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. Yep, and spoil your chickens too. <laughs> okay, so let's first say in the morning. Haven't uh, had coffee yet because the chickens get cheated first, don't they? Yes, so we're, and the chickens and the ducks. So I'm just gonna show you some of the prep I do on some mornings for my guys. Um, they, uh, today they're gonna get a tray of greens that we've sprouted for them. We started this about a week ago. And they're gonna get all of these greens. Um, this is from meal prep last night. I basically give the chickens anything that doesn't go into either compost or into our, our stock bag that goes in the freezer. I'll show you about that another time. I feed their own shells back to them. We used to use um, oyster shells in their feed. But now I just actually dry out their own eggshells and feed them back to them. I don't bake them. Some people think that you need to bake them to kill any salmonella or anything that's in it, but it's the eggs that they're laying. So anything that they have already, it's not gonna harm them to give back to them. Like I would never feed my flock eggshells from another flock but I feel pretty okay just rinsing these out and allowing them to dry into the counter, on the counter before feeding them back. And honestly, since we started doing this and feeding them the scrambled eggs as well every once in a while, we had one hen who was an egg eater. She doesn't eat eggs anymore. Um, and I think that this, because she's getting the nutrition she needs from all of these treats that we give her. Because yes, we do give them a pellet feed and I do mix extra stuff into it. But this fresh green stuff, this good stuff, it's really, and also the six sources of protein and calcium have made our eggs delicious and we don't have any egg eaters anymore. So I'll show you how to crush these eggs up properly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this isn't rocket science, crush these up. Now what I wanna make sure is that the pieces are small enough that the chickens can ingest them but not so small. That they can't digest them. Yeah, they need to be, they need to be large enough that it takes some time to move through their crop and their, their tract, otherwise they won't get any of the calcium out of it. So this is, you look here, that's about the perfect consistency. Let him go, Vegas. And here they come. <laughs> Uh, they really love their treats. It's worth it. They're trampling it though. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
And this green tray, where it, what happens is once they denude it of all actual um, sprouts, the hens sometimes have to dust bath with it. So there isn't any nice soft dirt for them around right this time of year. So. But that is. So this is definitely one of my favorite parts of the day. Everybody's just so happy. Yeah, even Amber is. Yeah, I got her out. Look, she loves her greens. <laughs> I think this is better at coffee than getting me up in any good mood. So this is one of the treats that we like to give our chickens. It's a uh, oatmeal and scrambled egg mixture that they love. Normally I would give this to them at night time to help them through a long cold winter night, but I wanted to get some footage of them eating it so you can see how much they enjoy it. And so we're giving it to them in the daytime here. How is he liking that, Sinead? Huh? Had to wait for the ducks to clear out of it, eh? Oh no, here they come. I think oh. he She's eating everything but the pellets. She's, this is our devil girl, Angus's favorite. <laughs> She's very mischievous. She's an Easter egger. And we love her. She's very naughty, though. Is that why you like her, Angus? Yep. <laughs> and she also has a, quite the personality. She sure does. And they're waiting very expectantly for their peas. Oh, I drink it. I usually have to throw some this way and some this way. And then I hand peas to the braver souls. They love their peas. They're really quite manic. I think they have all the sheets. So every other night, I like to give them corn. They're not as excited about this as they are about the peas. But cracked corn is a really good supplement to help them with cold winter nights as well. Yeah, not as excited, but they'll eat it. Amber, is it alright? You like it? Does <laughs> like the new hay? We get treated as well. Look at those beautiful eggs. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. As you can see, our animals love their treats. If you're interested in more of our stuff that goes on here at the Grow Together Homestead, please uh, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, we hope you take today's chance to grow together. Have a Bye. good one, everyone.